All right, the Fairweather T500 is, is making its way, which is pretty exciting. Um, okay, so I want to look at my tasks real quick. There's the egghead. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try the egghead puzzle again. I, I have to. The young man with the tape recorder acknowledges your return. When he looks at you, he squints as though you were the setting sun. This is hardcore. Okay, so it, it makes it seem like there's a very specific method of speaking with him. It's hardcore! I'm just gonna keep saying it's hardcore, aren't you? Skip a D, skip a danger. I am the rearranger. Oh my god. Your hot training did not prepare you for this. What to do? <laughs> Back to the heavyweight jam! Hardcore! Oh my god, uh, is it? It's hardcore! I don't know what to say to that. Skip a D, skip a danger. I Your cop training. God damn it, okay. We're close, true, hard, full, car. We're close. Say nothing. Hardcore! What is it? I mean, really? Yeah! Yeah! Lucky Erski, Materialski! God damn it, still not working. Be close. True, hard, full, car. Hard car. Still see nothing. Hard car to the mega. <laughs> All right. Here comes the night. God damn it. Be close. True, hard, full, car. Hard car. Hard car to the mega. To the, what does that even mean? Internally coherent. This is just obviously not the right answer. All car, all right, yeah! He furrows his brow as his very large head traces the sublime invisible movement of the music in the very real air of the stuffy tent. Hot car, ah! No, but I'm ser but seriously, I'm a little worried it isn't. The question is, what is the question? The manivalization. <laughs> no, why? Why do I? Why am I getting fresh pince memes in my head? Damn it! Ooh, are you? Ooh, ooh, am I? Ooh, am I? Ooh, am I? I'm a black man with a short black man. Black, 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 black. No, I'm gonna be stuck here for the longest time. Question is. What is the question? I know this one. The nivelization. That would have been good if I had asked you a question, but I did not. Just answer the question. But there was no question. Oh my god. Okay. internally coherent. All car, all right. He furrows his breath. So hardcore. Is it though? I was just thinking that a moment ago. One mind, one spirit. There's no other world. Damn it. There's no other life. Damn it. Be close. True. Hard, hard, co internally coherent. <laughs> the way he says that. Um. Good morning, yeah. One, two, three. Yako Qatar, the place to be. Why is that actually in. Wait, what? Oh, uh. You said that before. What is your kind of place to be? Yakokata is a hardcore place. God damn it, egghead. Be close. Okay. True, hard, full, hard, hard, internally coherent. Good morning, yeah. One, two, three. Yakokata. It's the message. So listen and you will see. No illusion. The spirit. Okay, so that isn't right. Close. True, hard, 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 is a mega. Internally coherent. All car. All right. What yeah. exactly are you doing? You gotta get the people going. I see why. I'm the party boy. It's my job. What is a party boy? Hardcore party 25-7 beyond the winter's orbit style. God damn it. We were actually getting somewhere. Hello. True. Hardcore hard hard is internally coherent. All car. All right. Gotta get the people going. I see. Yeah. Request. I want everybody as close to the stage as possible. God damn it. We're getting there. Hello. True. Internally, all car, all gotta get the people going. 
I'm the party boy. It's my job. I think I am also a party boy. Two on the track. Watch your back. God. Watch out for the heart attack. God damn it. The clothes. True. Hot hot cars in turn all come. He furrows his hot car. So hardcore. Is it though? It is. What is it? I mean, really. The question is, what is the question? No, but seriously, I'm a bit worried it isn't. He frowns, then starts bobbing his head back and forth more. The skin on your back is crawling. For a second, you can't even hear the music anymore. There is a hawthorn tree on Rue de Songe's lane, right next to the canal. Don't be alarmed. Everything is okay. He isn't actually worried. Everything is still super hardcore. What he probably means is, it could be even more so. Why are there lungs on your belt buckle? Lungs are for love! La more la compassion, la to discipline? Love! In a woman's lungs! Lonely as I am, I'm not afraid! This strange, damaged feeling grows on and on, because I've never loved someone like you before! Was just repeating the lyrics? A dopamine surge accompanies the words. It feels like electricity flowing down your scalp, dissipated into your neck. Feels good, like a spark of life in that moribund sponge you call your body. Are you a thought reader? No nation, but trans nation. No war, but class war. So you're not a thought reader, you're. Tell me. <laughs> Don't be a lunatic. Of course he isn't. Jermaine here just yells random things. Odds are, sooner or later, one of them will come off his fault reading. Jermaine? Yeah! Revachon Imperative! What? Unless you were thinking Revachon Imperative right now. Anyway, I've had a similar thing happen with eggs yelling. I know what you mean. <laughs> Lie, but I was thinking Revachon Imperative. That's fucked up, man. Lying like that, and a cop too. Oh, come on, shut your ass up. He's not a communist, it's just something he likes to yell. He picked it up from a tape jockey at the Palisium. She was a communist, though. Oh? Yeah! With the rebel yell! Oh, the co you know what? We're going with, with hell yeah to communism on this one. Communism's the truth, man. I could be a communist if you want that. Do you want me to be a communist? <laughs> Please don't turn him into a communist. <laughs> oh yeah, turn him into a communist. Come on, it would be super. That sounds that sounds super too, Andre. Be a communist, egghead. The future needs your help. Aye. You guess he is a communist now. <laughs> All right, I've turned egghead into a communist. <laughs> Sweet. Communism rules the nation. He looks at you with an almost impossibly wide, shining grin. Right on, comrade luminary. Here comes the sun. You could swear you feel the bright future of the working classes <laughs> reflected off Jermaine Egghead's giant smile and right onto your face. <laughs> Revolution makes your toes curl in anticipation. You said that you were worried. What do you think is wrong with the music? There's nothing wrong with it. I'm still in love with the hardcore. Sometimes I just feel like anodic music is in its infancy, you know? For example, take this Arno van Eyck jam I've been pumping for the last month and will continue pumping for the rest of the Last month? Words. Isn't something holding it back from being hyper? It's like it's only ultra. I think it's super hardcore, but you're right. It's not hyper hardcore. I, I'd say it's, it's super hardcore, but not hyper hardcore. It could be more hardcore. Fuck yeah, I knew it. He seems sure, but you are left with the nagging doubt. You might have overestimated the hardcoreness of that jam. <laughs> Thanks, Ilan. Darkhorn hardcore, Jermaine Egghead. Jermaine Egghead. Um, basically, yes, it is. All right, here comes the night. I did it. I did it. We, we, you know, I'm not going to lie. It, it, maybe this is like, like just some, this is either completely just me or 
it, it's a fascinating nature of the game. But when I was in that tent, I genuinely forgot about the horrors of Revishal. When I was in that damn tent, I was genuinely right at that moment being like, this is kind of nice. This is escapism in, a, in, a, in an interesting way from this war torn uh, like area. It was it was a shockingly OK escapism. I didn't see the destruction, the problems. It was it was OK, you know? It's pretty hardcore. OK, that being said, uh, Andre might have killed several people by locking them inside this place. So I'm going to try to get it open. Heavy wooden doors more than twice your height stand shut in front of you. The rectangular sea-worn ornamentation appears in stark contrast to the padlock carelessly drilled into the wood. Okay. The lock turns easily. You hear a click as the shackle pops open. Let's go. A great whoosh of air rushes into the dark innards of the church, as though rushing to fill a great vacuum in the heart of the city. Hmm. Oh my god. Holy shit, that mural. A strange stillness fills you as you look ahead. You should walk here, not run. The church, huh? This grotesque wooden figure looks half finished. Feels like it's trying to become one with the church. Oh, this music is good. I like it. I like it a lot. More of the forked lightning pattern you saw outside. Blackboards full of complex equations. They look recent. There's that bowl filled with wire. Live wire runs directly into it. Oh. The silence in this part of the church. It's almost palpable. All the shifting matter and shuffling of living things is gone. Nothing seems to exist beyond the church anymore. Maybe if you were to stand in just the right spot, even your footsteps would be completely silent. Wait, I think I still hear something. And then it's gone. Almost all of it. But for the faintest of hums, you can hardly hear your own breathing. Stomp your feet and clap your hands. You produce a few muffled thumps. After which the silence feels even more total, somehow. Yell as loud as you can. Your voice is barely audible. Not a howl, but the softest of whimpers. What the hell? It's unnerving. What the hell? What's happening, Kim? The lieutenant points to his ears and shakes his head. Then he leans closer. Can you hear anything? Almost, yeah, nothing, and it's beginning to worry me. The church just has strange acoustics, some engineering trick. I mean, that would make sense with all these weird bowls of water. His detached tone conceals how uncomfortable he is. Probably nothing, just our imagination. Mm, maybe. Darkness often has that effect on people. Look up the bell tower. The orderly rows of ceiling panels become big. Oh, shit. Visible then disappear completely in the darkness of the tower overhead. Try to see beyond the shadows. High chance, but I could still fail it. Fuck. Just darkness without end. It makes your head spin. What's the darkness like? Filled with vague shapes of woodwork, the sense of a great height. There's nothing. You're dizzy and disoriented as you see dark and more dark rising. Officer, what are you looking at? Blink. Oh He's my God! Hanging from the rafters, looking straight at you with dark eyes. Maybe it's possible to talk to it. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
What? Is that a man? Looks more like part of the carpentry of the building came alive and is now studying you intently. The night crawler is here. The crab man. God damn it. Uh, who's there? The man leaned forward a little, fixing you with a steady the crab man. gaze, then speaks. Habitual alcohol use has made you into a scared little pussy, Holmes. But don't worry. Everything's gonna be all right. You come to the right place. Holmes? Right place for what? Here you can receive the mother's love. And when you're ready, she will take your hand and lift you out of the despair at the bottom of that box. This man is obviously a habitual narcotics user. Do we really need to question him? He's running around on the roof like Spider-Man a little bit, yeah. I'm put off by this religious stuff, he thinks. And maybe the ceiling climbing too. It's all very hard to square with the lieutenant's own view of reality. Hey, and what was that about the bottle again? No, no, no. You <laughs> haven't even drank that much lately. Lay off it already. Shish. Sheesh. I guess, I guess I have a bit of a problem, yeah. Is that cruel way? I see deep inside you. Your body and your spirit are suffering greatly from overindulgement. And you don't even know it. Oh, I'm very in touch with my suffering. Thank you very much. Not all of it. I was like you once. You don't know all the havoc El Vino is wrecking on your mind and your spirit. Necesita parar, homie. Cita's is need to parar is uh, to stop. You need to stop. You know, actually, since we're here, you may want to pay attention to what the ceiling climber is saying. If the lieutenant agrees, then maybe, just maybe, you should pay attention. I believe you, Volition. Look at these crazies. What is this? A fucking intervention. No electrochemistry. Fuck you, crap man! You don't tell us what to do! Tell him! <laughs> For some reason, I feel like you have a point there. Don't trust me. Trust the mother. I'm only the messenger, Holmes. What, what's with his, um... Uh... Like, like <laughs> you know what my mind's immediately going to? It's going to that part of Always Sunny in Philadelphia where they have to talk in an accent when they're playing Charlie McDennis and, and, and they, they get Brazil and they just immediately start talking in like an L.A. Cholo out, um, uh, sound. And this, this, what, that's, what, that's what this guy's voice is reminding me of. <laughs> this is the church of the mother of silence. You are welcome here. The Church of the Mother of Silence. This Mother of Silence sounds like a serious player. You might want to be careful until you find out what you're dealing with. You might be the crab man. You must be the crab man. Never know myself to be a crab. But if that's the name you got for me, I won't stop you from using it. To be fair, you're really more like a spider. I always thought of myself more like a flame flickering along the rafters and beams. It may be that I gotta work on my technique. What were you before, Crab Man? I was in a gang way, but my memories of that time are faded. Most of them are already gone. Hmm. Also, remember two, and it haunts me. No, man. You gotta let that shit go. Then the mother's light touch will fill you with rapture. See, despite the fact that he's climbing like a weird, creepy crab man, he, he, he seems like nice. Do you remember your name, sir? The lieutenant is not particularly interested in this information. He's just trying to assert some control over the conversation. Tiago's my name, mm -hmm. but those syllables don't mean much to me these days. My name isn't just your identity, but also so to speak, your place amongst your fellows, your place in the world. I ain't got no use for such a place anymore. My name's Harry. That's just the thing, Holmes. None of that matters. Fine, then. What are you doing here? This is a special place. 
there's a perforation in the world up there, a way out into nothingness. This church was built around it nice for purposes of veneration. I circled it, nurtured by the silence bestowed by the mother. One of these days, I'd be pure enough to go drink from it directly. Who is this? Oh, that's no simple question, I said. She is one who can be painted or sculpted. She is a cavity in the dark beyond sense. She saved me, but I couldn't describe her to you. No one can, Holmes, and no one ever will. His adoration is beyond sexual. This cavity is something that no human form has. I will be incinerated, but not destroyed. Finally, I won with the state of the world before reality began. Then just switch one drug it's for another? It's not like that at all, man. It's just faith and joyful service. Hey, man, I'm not judging. I drug problems myself. I can see, and it saddens me. But devotion can save you. It saved me. You know, he's been rather nice lately, so I don't think I'm going to do faith as kind of... I'm just going to say you have a point. I know it will take time. Don't sweat it. I'm a seraph, Holmes. I sing the mother's glory. You should sing for me, the superstar cop. I am from No Marietti, if that's what you're thinking. And the song I sing is Silent as the Mother. Hard to say. I think Find I the church. construction work here. Back when I still had material worries. Up there, I realized what the true purpose of the church was. Been spending a lot of time here ever since. The past is nothing to me now, way. Eh? It didn't belong to me. The sinewy figure lingers on the wooden beam. Sinewy? Blending into the shadows. Some ravers want to turn this place into a nightclub. The ones in the tent outside? Yeah. Right? I see them. Guessing they're the ones who call me a crab. Probably scared of me. Do they have a reason to be scared, crab man? Nah, man. They look pretty funny. And I don't harm no one anymore. Anyway. Though he used to. A long time ago. So what do you think about the nightclub? Why not? They wouldn't bother me none. I'm usually way up there. Imbibing. Ain't no music on earth that can reach where I go. Oh, okay. That's not the response I expected. Might even be nice to have some company. He said that in spite of himself. He's more attached to the human than he'd like to think. Huh. Do you know why the church was abandoned? A while back. Oh. Did you witness it? Not really. Or at least I don't remember much of it anymore. The mother's love has done its job. That's what's so great about the mother. It lets you forget about everything. You know the other spooky the, uh, the other spooker is. Where the other spooker spooker is point of stranger scenes around you? Spooker. Spooker? Oh. Esa viejita es muy estudiosa. <laughs> Don't know, Holmes. Wait, so there is another person in the church? No. I just call her viejita because of her clothes. She's actually quite young. Or maybe not that young. H is just one of the many masks we wear. Ah, I don't like those words. That creeps me out. Do, do you know where I, she That's is? That's what I said, Holmes. Okay. How can you not know that when you don't really follow her comings and goings? So there's another just person see her in here. Typing on her computer now and then. We got different interests. I'm afraid not, Essay. You just have to wait until she comes back or. Oh. Search through her radio computer. Thanks. Okay. Well, that's not at all what I expected to be occurring today. Um, we we made friends with the Spider Man. What an incredibly, incredibly bizarre situation there's shoes over there 
Give me some of them shoes. And money. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Nope. Nope. Okay, click over there. Oh my god. I have to go all the way around? Oh dear. Okay. Um. Thank god for getting the XP from all these recorders and stuff. Also, I cannot believe someone in chat just redeemed 50,000 channel points literally just because they can and it has absolutely no rewards of any kind god damn chad a machine stands in the corner watched over by the figures on the stained glass window it's turned on and quivering with soft electricity another radio computer mm -hmm. and this time it's already turned on these machines sometimes harbor traps he thinks alarm systems and the like Let's be careful. We should leave. I doubt this place bears any connection to the case. Yeah, this has similar to the Doom commercial area. It's also quite similar to the one we have down at the station. Must be the same model. I want to investigate it. You see fluorescent play and print buttons on the keyboard. A hatch connected to the central compartment is wide open. The lieutenant says nothing. You see the machine's glowing frame reflected back from his diamond-shaped glasses. You're free to proceed. Look inside the compartment. Behind the hatch sits a cube-like crisscross of filaments, smoldering in the dark like fireflies. Silver tape on the side says, in black marker, Log, February to March. Another filament memory. Press play to talk with the repeater. The speaker comes to life. Static seeps through the machine's planar magnetic driver. An old lady greets you. Her voice sounds a hundred years old. Good afternoon. Ah. This is the East Insulin. This lady again. Please repeat. Is this the personal log? It's the same old woman you spoke with through the radio computer in the doomed commercial area. Yvonne, it's me again. How are you? Good. Thank you. Please repeat. Is this the personal log? Yes. Good. Please repeat the password. Ah, crap. Let's look around. There's no use trying to guess the answer. Maybe he knows something. Received. Fortress accident. Is there anything else? Goodbye. The machine's keyboard is still... I'm very curious about this. I don't know how much I should be messing around with it, though, but... He, sh he makes a good point. Let's talk to, uh, let's talk to Crab Man. Oh, hey, Wei. There's coffee in the back. Oh, Wei. I meant the mother's love. <laughs> I like how he's only like, he's only like, like 80% doing the faith thing, and the other 20% he's kind of just like old self. Chance to hear the password. Too many times, Esse. You need it for something. Yes. No need to overdo it. He won't mind sharing it with you. Yeah. Don't sweat it, Vato. The password is afterlife death. Oh. That is true. But what comes after death? What you think of that? Makes me almost pity La Nilita Pequeña when I hear it. I think we're done here, Esse. Oh. Oh, he leaves. He's gone. That was a he is literally gone. Conversation. However, I'm still not sure how it's relevant to our investigation. Yeah, but it's fun though. All right, not everything has to be relevant, Kim. Sometimes it's enjoyable, and that's all that matters. All right, password it is. The machine's keyboard. The speak. Good afternoon. First place. Good. Please After life death. Good. I have unlocked the filament. After ending the call, please press print to access the filament. Fortress accident. Is there anything else I can do for you today? I have two machines registered to this company name in Martinez. Mm. One on Saint-Brune, the other on Rue de Saint-Guedelaine. Saint-Brune. That's the church. And Rue de Saint-Guilaine? 
That's the Doom commercial area. Okay. Anything else I can help you with? Nope. Goodbye. The machine's keyboard is still illuminated. The printer prints out a long text document with dated paragraphs. It looks a bit like someone's journal. Read the printout. The first entry made on the 4th of February, 51, by an unknown author, is short and concise. Arrived at the church, the door was boarded up, so I used the crowbar to get inside. Looks like the place has been deserted. Nothing out of the ordinary. But I'll ask around. Need to figure out how to get the electricity in. Hmm. The lieutenant leans closer, scouring the printout over your shoulder. Yeah, Just he's curious. Reading, he looks up, muttering under his breath. Fourth of February. That's over a month ago. Whoever set up those machines has been here for quite a while. I don't think it's sense of the case, but I'm curious. Read the second entry. Sixth of February, fifty-one. Had a little chat with the local fishermen. Said I shouldn't go near that place. That the church was spooky and ridden with narcotics. It's a little spooky, all right. Still haven't figured out the electricity. See? Even one of the spookers themselves says it's unnerving. Take <laughs> a half light. What was that about narcotics? God damn it. This could prove to be interesting. No, no, don't look around the derelict building. No, read the third entry. Seventh. Of February 51 finally got the electricity in next on the agenda a new antenna I'm thinking Esca series something advanced I'm assuming she needed antenna to call people why would anyone need any of this equipment here he steps on a wire running on the ground inspecting it with his boot 8th of February 51 bought the antenna had some problems setting it up called Simo for help heard the others are back to make an art Drinking somewhere out of town. Sulislav started a rock band again. Lexi has been seen asking money from strangers. I don't recognize any of these names yet. But at least the artists have their act together. They're qualified labor. They can get work anywhere. Graphic design, ads. The programmers are doing fine too. I mean, they're programmers. The writers though, they're fucked. Wow, that is topical with the the sag after strike currently occurring right now that is extraordinarily topical i just have to find out what caused that data loss and be done with it still don't understand how it managed to wipe out the backup when the backup wasn't even connected to the front i know i know everyone thinks it's impossible they say i must be lying i'm here to set it right that a loss? Seems like something to do with radio computers. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about them to understand what the author is saying. Something about the backup data getting destroyed, and how everyone thought it was the author's fault. Let's just keep reading. Hmm? Her friends? Colleagues? She must be quite educated if she knew how to set up all this machinery. 12th of February, 51. Brought some food from the grocery store. Apparently, there's a strike going on in the harbor. Definitely not happy to see the Martinez people again. Everything's now set up in the church. Going to start working tomorrow, 8 a.m. The strike. We are nearing the date of the murder. Oh, okay. Keep reading. I'm interested now. I want to know what's that radio anomaly that sent this person here in the first place. 25th of February, 51. I've been sending data up to Linto for a while now, trying to recreate the data loss, but nothing. Didn't even feel like logging in the disappointment, but I did discover a curious audio spatial anomaly at the back of the church. I've named it the Swallow. It swallows sound. Need to get some mics. Huh. Is she talking about 28th of February, 51. Yes, the first recordings confirm that the swallow is real and I'm not just losing my mind. It's a pillar of silence with a diameter of approximately three meters. Seems like the higher I go, the less I record. This might be a coincidence or it could be connected to the data loss that led me here. The pillar of silence. She is talking about the silence. 
Is she suggesting it's more than just an architectural work? That's... I mean, she seems like she's far more intelligent than both of us, so... The lieutenant doesn't answer. He follows your gaze, studying the basins. The water shines in them. No ripples. I thought it maybe would have something to do with the gal outside. But... She doesn't seem... Because mm. she has, like, that monitoring equipment. March 51. Some kind of young disco men have appeared next to the church. I've been trying to record mm, the no. silence to find the epicenter, but now it turns out I've also been capturing the future of dance music, <laughs> one neo-disco song, over and over again. Fortunately, the song is so monotonous, I was able to devise an algorithm to factor it out. The other day, one of the disco men came in. Before I could even say hello, she got scared and left. Good. I don't want anyone distracting me from my work. The girl on the ice? Sounds like her, yes. Mm. March 51. <laughs> I got a call from the repeater station. Someone has tried to access the radio computer in our old office in Martinez. Can't do anything about it. Oh. The storekeeper still doesn't want to let me inside the building. Thinks I'm part of some kind of curse. How Martinez of her. Oh, right! I think I did do that! Yes! I knew it wasn't a good idea to meddle with the machine. Damn, I'm learning things, Kim. March 51. A new two-meter aux cable. Noodles. Crackers. Ping-ping energy drinks. Water. Toothpaste. Gum. Also, some canned air. Canned air? You're reading interrupted by the sound of the church door opening. That was so loud in my right ear. Strange Make straight for the radio computer. That is a, that is a portrait and a half. Breaking into my radio computer, I see. She glares at you as she holds down the off button for several seconds. The machine reboots. I do apologize for the intrusion, madame. We are with the RCM, you see. We're here on a side case representing certain music venue organizers. No, no, no. Oh, the other option's just as bad. A lost identity, screw it. You won't find any answers from here. Your machine were back to life. It's just me and my computer, and it has been this way for weeks. Now, please give me some room. I need two seconds to see that you haven't destroyed anything. Okay. We should talk to her after she has rebooted the machine. Have you done it yet? What is it? I didn't break anything, did I? No, you just printed out my personal log and wasted some paper. Cool. Who are you? I am Sona Lukkanen Kilde, the former lead programmer of Fortress Accident and RSA radios. I have over 16 years of programming experience, and I'm proficient in both Vox and Orbis languages. Oh no, we're going to talk about programming. I don't know a thing about programming. All this jargon is going to go right over my head. If you're not here to hire me, I don't really know how I can help you. Have you seen the crab man? No. But you know he's around? Yes. He's seen you. And? Oh my god. I don't care. I don't care about crab men. <sighs> wow. She really doesn't. <laughs> not afraid this one. Why are there so many machines? I brought them here. These are my machines. Please don't touch anything. I need an antenna. I use the AR1 as my rain prefix processing unit. What? Rain prefect. My radio computer. Yes? You really don't know anything about radio computers, do you? Not really. All right. Well, all radio computers perform operations up on air. So in order to gain more processing power, you need to invest in a good antenna. What's on air? On the front. The unified front of radio waves. Licensed and controlled by Lintel in the east in Cylindic region. Stop talking to me like I'm stupid. Just because I am stupid doesn't mean you gotta talk to me like it. What's wrong with her legs? Is that just like a weird thing of pants? Or are they like scarred up? It's all around us. That's what on air means. I guess it is. So far, I've been quite satisfied with it. 
Martinez is an unstable region with bad coverage, and the operation has been surprisingly stable. But it's not the cheapest one on the market, so I wouldn't recommend it for your regular red tape operations. Fraser 1000 is a foolproof line for civilians. What? Anyway, you should do some research before you decide to buy anything. Ask around, compare the prices. There are many milieus dedicated to that sort of thing. She liked to tell me this. It calmed her nerves. Okay. I'm working. Oh my god. The machine seems almost alien with its pulsing core. The light casts in her face in a strange shadow. Could you... Could you just... Shh. For a moment? Or get to the point. I really need to focus on something. Oh my god. It's not just rudeness. It really is hard to concentrate on whatever she needs to do. And you're not helping. Bowls of water. They are connected to my rain prefect. Whatever you do, just please don't move them, okay? Thanks. Okay, next question. Great. <sighs> what are you doing in the band church? You really like those questions, don't you? Oh my god, I am a cop. They're bloodshot. She really hasn't been getting much sleep lately, has she? Uh, I'm a police officer. Yeah, it's my job to ask questions. I'm conducting scientific research here. You can't throw me out. Uh, a bet? I'm looking for the location of a two millimeter hole in the world. Uh, come again? She's looking for a disruption in the radio waves. That's what her personal log said. Yeah, the weird dead zone. The, the, the swallow. his brows, but doesn't say anything. Is the whole connected to the data loss in your journal? Yes, that's what led me here. But I suspect it might be something a bit more complicated than that. Exactly. What does it mean? Up to now, it has been impossible to say what it is because it's impossible to measure nothing. Well, that's just said, man. All right, that tracks. What do you think it is? What qualities does nothing have? How do you measure something that does not exist? She is suddenly absorbed in your conversation waiting for your answer. That's a little above your pay grade at the moment. Thanks, Logic. You know, I, I will say, this kind of reminds me of any time I have to troubleshoot a problem with my computer. Because I've, I've finally, I finally, after 28 years on this planet, have finally realized that it's not about when you when you troubleshoot your a problem with computers hardware or software it's not about finding what's wrong it's about finding uh a, a, like every other thing that isn't wrong and i'm not going to lie it's infuriating because it's not about realizing the issue it's about marking off not the problem 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 no 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 no, no. That's the one. And that sucks because then I have to test every single other thing on the computer. I hate it. It's it of all the of the two options you had to fix something, I have to deal with the worst one by a solid margin. I do not like it. It took me so long to realize that, but now I'm happy that I know. This is what I get for being a white collar worker. You measure it by its surroundings, by that which does exist, which is what I've been trying to do. See, exactly. I tried using hydro transducers to record the silence, to find out where it begins. But honestly, it's not progressing very well. She grows silent, staring at a circle of basins like at some ancient ritual. But does it have anything to do with necroplasmic life forms? Ghosts in everyday parlance. I think like if I mention ghosts, she's gonna laugh at me. Ghosts? No, I don't think so. I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in them either. Necroplasma? Great. What are we talking about? And why? Uh, where's the hole? Okay, we'll go with that. Somewhere underneath those roof beams, I assume. Trying to pierce the pitch black heights above without much success. Only a faint crisscross of rafters can be made out from the dark. Most of the tower disappearing into the shade. Strange things may flourish in the dark. There's this place at the back of the church 
A place where all audible vibrations seem to decease. I've named it the Swallow. And the higher you go, the less you record. The Pillar of Silence? Are you sure it's not just an architectural quirk? Maybe, but it's oddly close to the physical coordinates of the data loss that led me to this place. This is where the crab man lives. God, I'm so stupid. I know. You don't think he might be responsible? No, I don't. Uh. She sounds mildly annoyed by this line of questioning. Her hands type in hundreds of commands into the machine. You said that the research isn't going well, why not? Because it's just trial and error. Trying to locate the swallow, the exact point in space. And I don't have a... You know what? It would be really helpful if you could just stop talking and let me work. No! Great. Thanks. How do you feel about dance music? What? I hate it. Not like disco does. Maybe I'd have to be on drugs to get it, but to a sober mind it just sounds like uninspired rock whipping. No idea what it has to do with either dancing or music. You want a club for it. This is about those beat freaks in the tent, isn't it? Yes. I've got some news for you. It's not a nightclub they want to build here. Take a guess, why don't you? A petting zoo. I can't believe they got you so easily. <laughs> Go have another talk with those up and coming entrepreneurs, will you? Thanks. <laughs> Good luck. I'm not coming in there. The swallow, you mean? Great. Thanks. Oh, sick new thought. V500. The armor. Remember that weakness you were looking for in the ceramic armor? Like. Maybe it can only stop small, fast projectiles, but a large, slow-moving pry bar would shatter it. Or, if I run an electrical current through it, maybe it will melt. Or, personal favorite, frequency something something radio weapon. <laughs> None of that would work. You need to shoot the part of the enemy that doesn't have fear with a T-500 on it, because the armor itself is invulnerable. Good news is, so are the armor pieces on you. I literally internalized this entire thought to tell myself, no, you're wrong. Plus two hand-eye coordination against enemies in FT-500 armor. Oh no, I'm gonna fight enemies in FT-500 armor? Oh no! Or it's a gag. Man, I gotta be honest, I kinda like internalizing these thoughts. This is more interesting to me than leveling up my skills. More thoughts, I say! More thoughts! Wasteland of reality. It's been brought to your attention that you're an alcoholic. And it's, and it's a sickness and it's killing you. You're crawling on your knees through life, your booze-filled belly dragging on the ground, your brain now fuzzy, now in overdrive, your hair sticking together with today's cold sweat and yesterday's vomit. Perhaps they're right. Anything is better than this. Even bone-dry reality itself. Maybe you can quit. 20 hour research time. Holy shit. Yes, what is it? Well, guess I need to talk to Andre again. In white, silver, and apricot fields, the young mother of humanism stands above you. A crack runs across her body. She is impossibly tall, oval faced, and sad. A dark and radiant majesty. Cradled in her arms are a pair of glowing lungs. Oh, yeah. Clearly visible from underneath her flowing dress. You should kneel. Sure. Your knees touch the floor. <laughs> the floorboards are hard and cold. There, you kneel among the I just dropped. Use light falling on your hands from beyond the glass. Close your eyes first. The world is silent. But for the creaks and cracks of the massive wooden structure behind you, it covers you from the wind outside. The ocean feels distant, its ebb and flow blocked off by the centuries-old pinewood sarcophagus around you. 
In the darkness, you sense her eyes on you, inspecting you with their multicolored glass, as if you're a bug under a microscope. The woman looks down at you, kneeling. She towers among her followers, architects, laymen, courtiers. There is a sad smile on her lips and a glint in her green-blue eye of what? Compassion? Remorse? Remorse. As that useless word passes through your mind, the lieutenant draws an X-shaped cross from shoulder to shoulder. Hmm. Your fingertips touch your chest four times. Then you rise from your knees into the apricot-colored light of the window. Above you, the woman still smiles her distant smile, sundered by the crack in the glass. Who is this, Kim? It's Dolores Day. I believe we are in the Dolorean Church of Humanity in Martinez, or the small Pinewood Church in some records. Wait, what? Dolores Day? The one that, that physical instrument has been, or pain threshold has been messing with me for a while. When I thought Dolores Day was my wife because it was so difficult to, to talk about. Am I just a man who's lost his faith? What? It's a minor landmark, not easy to find. Most maps misplace it. It was built not long after Revachot's founding, 300 or so years ago, by first generation settlers. Okie dokie, Rusty. There used to be seven stiff churches on the coast. Les Setsa, they called them, the seven sisters. Only one remains. The rest were burnt in the revolution or used for building materials. We should be respectful here, although the building appears to be deserted. I do not believe we'll find anything connected to the lynching here. Something else, perhaps? A pang of guilt. The lieutenant is leaving something out. Why was it abandoned? I have a theory, yes. There was a police raid a while back. I heard the place was shot to pieces. Well, your station was involved, I hear. Although I can be sure. That just, that doesn't sound like he's not sure. It sounds like he's doing that to make me not feel bad. Three precincts were involved in the raid, and people say Precinct 41 was one of them. I could have been here? I'm sorry, I'm not saying you were. It was a clandestine operation. I don't know anything about it, why it was conducted, or who participated. I try not to pry into extra district matters. I would like to find out why I was here, you though. You will not get information on a confidential operation from your station secretary just by calling. If you really don't remember, it might be better to keep this one forgotten. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, maybe I do have a lady, an old, like, wife or someone who left me. But more importantly, it's it maybe I misconstrued it. Maybe it's not that Dolores Day was my wife or or uh, the woman that, that's caused me so much pain. But in reality, whatever I did here was maybe so bad that I've tried to completely suppress it. And pain threshold. Mm. It happened a while ago. It's an important to our business in Martinez now. <sighs> Encyclopedia, let's go. 28%. Nail it. Despite the damage you've done to yourself, the title appears lodged in your hippocampus. This is her innocence, Dolores Day. The innocence of humanism, <laughs> internationalism, and the welfare state. Perhaps the most famous human being ever to have lived. We hit these... Innocence of humanism, international civil welfare state. No amount of Commodore Red can wipe her sad smile from your brain thing. It has survived the deluge and haunts you still, and will haunt you forever, as it haunts all men. What exactly is an innocence? The highest category of historic individual, an embodiment of the world's spirit. So an innocence is 
like, like, I guess one could argue like a saint? More. An innocence is elected to office by the founding party, a precedent that has taken place a mere six times in the entirety of history. The legal system of the Real Belt is built to accommodate innocentic rule should it coincide with our time. An innocence is infallible. The decisions made by one are not decisions. They are inevitabilities. What would have happened anyway? Only accelerated, packed into decades instead of centuries. An innocence is a continuous compressed event, a sacred human being. It is an honor and a glory to live when one is in office. So it's, what's, what was the old thing about, um, like, um, kings and kings don't, uh, ah, uh, crap. Um, like th what a king says is the divine will of God. Um, and the, the, the concept is that like to defy the king is to defy God itself as they are a, like the, the vessel of God. I don't exactly remember the specifics of that. There was a, a phrase for it. Um, divine right, divine right to rule. That sounds right. Kind of gives me that that idea where uh, it says they, you know, and like the decisions made by one or not decisions, they are inevitabilities. You know, it would have already happened because it was like the div the divinity, which makes sense. Because look at this goddamn mural. Is one in office now? No, we are alone. She was the first instance, though. When did she rule? Three hundred years ago, in the wake of the discovery of this Isola, the Insulindian, by explorers from the continent of Muindi, she is among other things, the innocence of inter isolary travel and the connected world. What else I know Many about things. her? Many things. You know she was a woman of the court, the wife of an influential Marchese, and eventually the principal advisor to Irene La Navigateur, Queen of Seren, modern-day Sir La Clay. Also, that she was gorgeous beyond beauty, draped in ancient sadness, are you sure you want to remember this bit of historic trivia? Standing under a long slender form like this, dwarfed? Yes! Big bummer! Boring history! Gotta keep it light, man! Keep it moving! Get fucked up instead! God damn my necktie. The past. It's a silo of sadness, fermenting. You should keep away. Fuck this pain, Bratan! It's unhealthy! No, I want to know. Terribly. Other things. Women of the court were expected to play both contract bridge and chess sufficiently well to prove an interesting challenge to a man. A simple grasp in matters of philosophy, theology, and science was encouraged. She was, by all means, a kept woman. She made the most of her position in the Antidelorean court, a court visited by the most prominent thinkers and artists of the day. In secret, she was becoming the era's preeminent philosopher of the state, a scalpel, a piercing gaze. She was an almost preternaturally magnetic and intelligent individual. To her contemporaries, she appeared out of time, a messenger from the future of the species. We all fell in love with her head over heels. Even before she was declared an innocence, her influence was tremendous. It was on her advice that Irene Le Navigateur sponsored a number of voyages into the pale. There's that pale thing again. Often tragic endeavor, ultimately vindicated by the discovery of the new, new world. The piece of reality you're standing on. So her advice is what sent our uh, I'd say Columbus, but Columbus was an idiot. So our Amerigo Vespucci um, over New World. She was crowned two years after the first expedition returned, setting in motion what is widely considered the greatest era in history. The DeLorean era. Wow, indeed. When her innocence was declared and the queen she had advised for years fell on her knees before her, she was so overcome with emotion that her lungs started glowing in her chest. 
Oh. Bystanders Hence the statement. golden filaments lighting the already sunlit chamber around her, clearly visible beneath her dress. I want more. As did we all. The lands of the mess and the occident and even far away Supramundi. Altogether, 21 of the 40 Mundial nations of the time immediately accepted an ascetic rule, even before her crowning. The hell? In a city called Advesperaskit in Vesper Messina, her homeland, the name of the city means evening comes, but it happened on a winter's morning with the canals frozen and slush falling out of the sky. She was dressed in a white and pearl dress on an emptied out plaza with the crowd far away. Already her thirties, the secret servicemen of the innocents, were worried about an assassination attempt. Oh yes, she looked like humanity's young mother, a perfect mother, insultingly beautiful. It was as if her face and shoulders and hands were covered in a soft down of under feathers. You know this well. Very well. Why do I know this well? Midwinter snow was beating. That's across very the bizarre. Around her. A small attache of officials stood by as her thirties placed a white gold wreath on her head. The crowning was mostly witnessed by secret servicemen. One of the men in this secret service killed her oh. twenty-two years later. A young man who had come to suspect that Dolores Day was not entirely human, but something else. Something that had walked in our midst, watching us stumble for hundreds, if not thousands of years, until it decided to interfere. Interfere in the course of our history. We were supposed to come up with this ourselves. The man was reported to have screamed at the innocents. Dolores Day was shot in the chest with a fowling piece eight times. Oh, Jesus. The man, thought to be insane, said he once touched her and her body had been unnaturally warm, like a furnace, and that sometimes, while on duty, he observed her forgetting to breathe for over ten minutes. This inhuman quality was witnessed by many others as well, glowing lungs and all. It is commonly attributed to mass hysteria and religious psychology. What a bizarre bit of lore. Was there something terrifying about her? Terrifying is a term too emotionally charged for your semantic memory Sem or what remains of it. But terrifying, it's a simple word. She was bad for humanity. And you shouldn't have started thinking about her. No, I'm taking the plunge. I want to know these things. I'm taking the plunge into the difficult. You already do. Although she's often considered to be the greatest human being to ever live, there was something ominous about Dolores Day. Constantly surrounded by her thirties, she was the most socially secluded and least self-aware of all the innocences. Some modern thinkers would consider her a war criminal for the campaigns she waged against the Mesk state. And then there were the resettlement programs. The Mesk state tried to detach itself from innocentic rule. Parts of the world were experiencing whiplash from accelerating into secularism. Her mandatory education programs and mass resettlement of upstream Marguerite were problematic as well. Dissenters were suppressed by a military force she called the army of humanity. Okay, I'm getting... Well, when they talked about the inhuman quality and then her finally showing up to talk about it, I was like, I didn't want to pull the Warhammer thing where I'm like, that sounds like the Emperor. But now I'm really getting those vibes. She adored chess, yes. But also <laughs> military war games. Dolores Day often holds a tiny tin soldier between her index finger and thumb in icons such as this. She was also blonde, <coughs> the blondest woman you have ever seen. The with blondest. With green eyes the color of the Pacific, Mare Interregnum. Little is known of her Marchese husband. It's as if he vanished from history after completing his role, which was to introduce Dolores Day to court. In conclusion, yes, there is something lonely, 
paranoid and even terrifying that people seldom mention but feel when they think of her. Lieutenant Yefreiter, you've stood there for over five minutes. I'm thinking. What are you thinking of, if I may ask? <laughs> Yell, war criminal. Okay. She's not human. Okay, he takes the glasses off to clean them. Then after a while, he says... Chief Church, the coast in general. We shouldn't linger here. This isn't a good place to get lost in. We should conclude our business and move on. No. Visual calculus. We make these. The shards glimmer in the dark. Damn it. You see little pearls of light on the edges of the crack that splits the female figure. Something was written there. Remains of broken letters line the emulsion. What it said, you do not know. What an insane volume of war we just heard here. And yeah, I know Warhammer fans when they hear, see religious symbolism, they stole it from from the from the religious everything, and and now I now I know it from there because I didn't read any Bibles, I didn't read any religious texts. I don't know anything about that.